At its most basic level, the heart really is just a pump. Its sole job is to take blood and pump it to the lungs where it can pick up oxygen and then circulate it around the left side of the heart where it will pump blood to the body. So that's what the heart's always trying to do is just direct blood flow in one direction through the lungs and to the body. There's a common analogy with hearts and houses that we tend to fall back on quite a bit. Just like your house has a number of rooms and a number of doors and plumbing and electricity, the heart also has rooms and doors and a plumbing system and an electrical system. The plumbing system, as opposed to your house where it's on the inside, for the heart, the plumbing system is on the outside and it's these arteries that feed the heart. So in patients that have had stents or bypass surgery, that's where the treatment's taking place and these arteries that overlay the top of the heart. The electrical system of the heart is not visualized on this because it's not a visual, visualized structural system, but our colleagues in electrophysiology who do pacemakers and ablation uh, and treat heart rhythm problems, either too fast or too slow rhythms, that's what they're focused on. They can map out that electrical system. They can uh, ablate or burn areas that are short-circuited. They can put pacemakers in to control the heart rhythm. The heart itself has four rooms. It's got a right upper room, a right lower room, left upper room, and a left lower room. And those rooms are all separated by doors, which in this case are heart valves. These doors are designed so that they open just one way. They open to allow blood flow from the upper chamber to the lower chamber, and then they close so that when the lower chambers pump, all the blood goes forward out their corresponding valves. In structural heart, a couple of these areas can develop problems, and that's what we focus on treating. So we really focus on the doors or the valves, or we focus on the walls of these rooms uh, where abnormalities may exist that, that need to be fixed. For a number of reasons, these valves can either not open properly, so instead of swinging wide open, they'll just open up a little bit, in which case blood has trouble moving from one chamber to the next. The other problem that can develop is these valves tend to leak, so instead of closing when the heart pumps and creating a good seal so that all the blood goes uh, forward, these valves can leak so that blood in turn winds up leaking backwards, and that can cause a number of symptoms. So that's an overview of how the heart works, what its normal function should be, and an overview of some of the things that can go wrong that we can fix through structural heart procedures.